brought to you by the CSMS Genius Squad. Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about how to manage your storage. Now, if you don't really have a lot of stuff on your iPad, or you don't really use it all that much in your classes, then you might not have to worry about this. But if you ever get a notification that says that your storage is almost full, this video is for you. If you have used up all your storage, or almost all of your storage, you're probably going to need that later on for more papers or apps or if you ever need something in the future. It's good to have some open storage. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your storage if you've used up a lot of it. You can view how much storage you've used and how much is available in storage and iCloud uses. You can hit manage storage to see what's sucking it up. From here, you can see which apps are using up the most and least of your storage, and you can address it accordingly. One common thing is photos. If you have any unused photos that you don't really use or need for educational purposes, go ahead and delete them. If it's not that, it may be notability. If you have any unfiled or unused notes, go ahead and delete them. But if you really need them, you can always upload them to Google Drive, where it's always online and it's there, but it's not taking up storage on your iPad. Hopefully this video helped. If you are like me and have a lot of stuff on your iPad, you might want to go through and evaluate what you really need and don't need. And sometimes it comes down to just, is this good for me or is it good for education? Remember, make sure to always, if you ever need to delete any educational things that could have some value after you delete them and could possibly, you know, not be too good, you should probably check with your teacher if it's in a certain class and you don't know, should I delete it, should I not delete it for storage purposes. Brought to you by the CSMS Genius Squad.